What's up guys? My name is Tim Stoddard. Welcome to TimStodds.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to talk about making money on a website through advertising and why you should never do that. Basically, I am arguing against selling ads on a website to, to try to monetize a website or monetize a brand uh, through selling ad space on a site. I think it's a terrible, terrible idea, and I'm going to give you some real concrete reasons why and some kind of better alternatives to it. So I want to start this video by uh, talking about a little experiment that I've been doing over the course of, of the last month, right? So on my website, timstods.com, there is one particular blog article that I wrote that uh, just gets a lot of organic traffic. Uh, organic traffic meaning it, it gets a lot of traffic through Google. So I'm thinking to myself, how much is this traffic actually worth in ad space? So I put two different ads on it. And over the course of the last month, I got the results up right here. So give me one second. Over the course of the last month, and today is the, the 30th day in August, so I have a, a full month worth of data. There has been 426 organic hits to this particular website. And I'll show screenshots of all of the data that I'm looking at on the screen in the blog post as well. So there's been 426 organic hits to this website. And over the course of the month, that 426 hits worth of traffic has earned me $4. <laughs> $4.07. So today I've earned four cents and yesterday I earned five cents. So look, first and foremost, you shouldn't do it because it's just straight up not a good business move. There is not enough money in ad space and in particular Google AdSense. It's like the worst thing you can do to really monetize a website. And Alternatively, the problem with it is when you're selling ads on a site, the thing that you're interested in isn't so much growing your brand, it's just getting more and more clicks, more and more eyeballs. And so that means that you're gonna like sensationalize your content just because you know you're gonna write stuff that's kind of gonna get a response and gonna get comments on social media and you know, start arguments and get shares simply because it's, it's like gonna go viral and it's, it's like not gonna add any real value to people's lives, you know, I, I kind of call this the BuzzFeed effect. And although BuzzFeed has changed a lot in the last year, it's basically like kind of bullshit list posts about, you know, cats and like things to die for and, you know, things that literally can't even, right? You can take that same exact traffic and offer something that has real sustainable value and take that 427 hits and turn it into like real, real money and a real business that has purpose behind it. So I'll give you an example. My business for my agency is working with clients. I do a, a service agency. And typically, to work with Stasi and work with my team, it costs $4,000 a month. So out of those 427 people that came to the site, if you get one deal, one deal from that traffic, you're talking about a $3,090 $3, difference in revenue for that month of traffic. Granted, uh, I'm in the service industry. Uh, Stasi is, is an agency and we work with clients, so that's kind of monthly recurring traffic. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to provide a service. You can sell online courses. Courses, if you do it right, are extremely lucrative because although there's a, a good amount of work up front to actually build the course and create like a real valuable polished product once you do all that work and you sell it the scalability on online courses is is really huge you know you you have an upfront 
kind of chunk of labor that you do and you create this product and then there's, there's no more work that has to go into developing that product. All of it from that point on is just revenue and then of course you can put advertising dollars behind that to scale it even more. But you take that one course and now let's say you got 10 courses. Now you're really, really killing it. Now you're making some money. So a another way is, is obviously just physical products. Um, let's say I was let's say I was making like a, a, a t-shirt line with like, I don't know, entrepreneurial slogans or something like that. <laughs> Although that's like not the best idea and I wouldn't necessarily buy those t-shirts. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that I would sell way more t-shirts with that 400 and 426 hits and make way more money than I did selling Google ads on my webpage. Those are just a few examples. And I use those examples because I am concerned sometimes with seeing online businesses and, and social media and the land grab for likes and shares that people think you need to have a huge amount of followers and a huge amount of clicks and a huge amount of volume of traffic to have like a real substantial profitable business that you can like really, really, really get some income from. And that is not the case. If you build a good service, a good product, if you build something that like really solves problems for people and then you market it, not to everybody, but to the particular people who can use your service or use your product to solve a problem that they have. This, the scalability for any business is just astronomical. It's, it's, it's huge. So one website, one blog article, no lie, can, can gross you $100,000 a year. If, if you know how to sell it properly, that same blog article that I'm using an example of in my mind, if you wanted to try to make $100,000 a year selling ad space, especially Google ad space, I mean, you, I don't even know how much traffic that's going to be. You're going to need 50 million hits to even come close. So this example that I'm giving you is much bigger than just ads on a web page. A lot of YouTubers like to quote monetize their channel by uh, selling ads, pre-roll ads. Again, a huge waste of time. You can sell your own services, your own brand, your own product through the content that you make and through the audience. And you need a, a much smaller audience. You don't need to have 10 million followers to make a half a million dollars a year. If you have something of real value and you market it in a way that is specific to a target audience, you can kill it. Like You can really, really, really build a substantial business that puts money in your pocket. No question about it. This isn't some like far-fetched sort of sales dream. You don't need to have a hundred million likes and you don't need to be the rock on Instagram. You can have what I have. You can have a couple thousand people on your email list. You can have a, a good amount of traffic that comes to your website through Google. Specific traffic. People that are trying to solve a specific problem that you can solve for them. And, and you can build a profitable business that way. And you should build a profitable business that way. You should keep that money and not give that money to Google and not give that money to advertisers because they're leveraging you to put money in their pockets. You should be leveraging your own work, your own time to put money in your own pockets. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe. Please subscribe to my podcast, by the way, timstods.fm. I've been putting a lot of time into my podcast and I'm like really, really excited with the guests that I've been having and uh, with, with the growth that it has had. 
I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys. Peace out.